chambered nautilus, that fascinating sea creature that makes beautiful, spiraling tan and white shells, is connected throughout its life to the moon in ways that are hard to believe. It's one of the oldest still living species. Its ancestors left fossils for the past 500 million years. This humble sea creature and its fossil shells tell us how deeply it is connected to nature, and we are too, in ways also hard to believe. I was so fascinated by this story that I named my new book, The Moon in the Nautilus Shell. The Nautilus makes its beautiful shell as it grows. Here's what happens. Each day it gets a little bigger and therefore needs a bigger home. So it builds a wall behind it, sealing off yesterday's room, and moves ahead to form a slightly larger room. Day after day, another room is added, each a little bigger than the one before. The chain of rooms makes that beautiful spiral. Every moon month, the Nautilus lays down a thicker wall. How the Nautilus knows it's a new moon, we're not sure, since it spends its days deep in the ocean. But it does rise to the surface of the ocean at night to feed and perhaps then sees the bright light of a full moon or the darkness of a new moon's night. Strangely, the 500-year-old fossil nautilus shells show very few days between moon months. The months were shorter. The moon must have been spinning faster around Earth, but if so, the moon must have been a lot closer to Earth than it is today. Also, as the millions of years passed, the number of day walls between moon month walls increased. The months were getting longer. How could this be? The moon must have been moving farther away from Earth and slowing down its orbit around Earth. That's the story that the moon in the Nautilus shell tells us. It's about the history of the connection between Earth and moon. Who would have ever thought a little chambered nautilus that lives deep in the ocean could tell us such a story? But what I think is more important is it shows that the nautilus is not just connected to its local environment, that deep sea. It's connected all the way to the moon. Its habitat is deep ocean, then the upper ocean, then earth and moon. And that's what we have to take away from this. We, too, are deeply connected to nature in ways that reach beyond our consciousness, but are vastly important to us. After all, the Nautilus is not thinking about its connections. Like the Nautilus, we are connected so deeply to nature that we cannot live successfully apart from it. In our modern age, many of us seem to have forgotten this, but in doing so, we lose touch with what our surroundings are really like. Nature becomes an abstract. Abstracted from our surroundings, we lose touch as well with an important part of ourselves. Look around you. Realize that each of us is connected to our environment in much the same way the humble, chambered Nautilus is. Only then can we work out how best to solve environmental problems. Remember the Nautilus and the moon. <laughs>